Well, greetings Titans, it's Dave on the road. So I'm Dave, welcome to Dave Takes It On. Uh, we've just come back from a filming session in Rugby. Uh, met up with quite a few people there and uh, got some fascinating film, met some fascinating people uh, who are giving us an insight into what's actually happening. We have a cracking installation. We have a total of 28 Tesla B3 chargers and um, plenty of power, plenty of space. I very rarely come here and find these full. In, on most days, there's at least 10 vacant, uh, and I suspect they don't actually get full. Someone might correct me on that. What would get full normally is the grid serves. And the grid serves here, they just run on. So the last of the Teslas is there, grid serve is there. Uh, and so there's 12 grid serve chargers as well. Now, at the moment, the third one along is down. There's no power to that one at all. And the, there's another one there with no power. And there's also a, not one with a red light. But these are normally very busy. And they're busy for two reasons. First of all, there's only 12. Tesla thinks this is worthy of 28. So that's saying something. But also, we've got cars here, um, which are like the uh, MG, which are charging at a lower rate. These ran about 130, 140 kilowatt maximum speed, uh, whereas a lot of the Teslas now are 250s. So these will probably take longer uh, to charge. I know they're 350 kilowatt chargers, but if the MG4 over there can only take 135, it doesn't matter what you're plugged into, it will only ever take a maximum of 135 and probably on most days uh, charge around about 100 uh, if it's fairly empty and down to about 20 or 30 if they're fairly full. The advantage here, we can go and have a look at what they're actually doing. So this is a, an MG, MG4, and what we have here is the battery state of charge is 76 percent and they're pulling 65 kilowatts and that's quite a decent rate uh, this state of charge once you get into the 70 or 80 percent range it starts dropping but when i come and do these walk bys by the chargers i usually find most of the cars charging are less than 100 kilowatts so let's go and see what we've got today uh what we've got here we've got a volvo uh, this one's at 83% and we're now down to 32 kilowatts of charging. So this is what I say when people say, can I charge to 100%? Of course you can, but the last 20% is done at an amazingly slow pace. And you've got to wonder whether it's actually worth it. Don't know what he arrived at, but been here 26 minutes at 84%. Uh, it's going in at... Uh, um, 32 kilowatts at the moment so this car's going to be here a little while longer and yet the extra 16 percent that's being waited for here might represent only about 30 or 40 miles uh, which we never get that low anyhow so my question is why not just pull out now uh, take what you've got and then uh, you just have to stop a little bit earlier next time uh, now if they're, if it's a family and they're in there having lunch and they're going to be here for another half hour anyhow, absolutely fine, leave it plugged in. But it's really a case of you don't have to go to 100%. So we've been here a couple of minutes, uh, hasn't moved from 84%. Anyway, that's a personal choice. If anyone wants to sit there for an hour and a half charging, uh, that's fine, it's their choice. Uh, not for me to tell them otherwise. However, uh, it just seems to me a total waste of effort and time and everything so here we go we're at another uh, grid serve again another 350 uh, this one now we have oh it's an audi uh, q4 and this is a uh, a 40 e-tron uh, so let's see what these are doing and this one we got 63 percent state of charge and we have 73 kilowatts going in Car's only been here for eight minutes, so this looks like just a top-up charge. Uh, so it's charging at a fair, a fair old pace at the moment. And again, if this is just a short stop and a coffee and a toilet break, absolutely fine. Now alongside, we've got a, uh, what have we got? Uh, oh yeah, we've got a Jaguar, <laughs> Jaguar I-Pace. I really must get better at uh, recognizing these. Uh, this one's 53% uh, state of charge, 64 kilowatts at the moment. 
So what I was saying about charging is all of these cars are charging. None of them are charging over 100%, uh, 100 kilowatts. None of them. They're all around about 60, 50, 70. Um, and so these 350 kilowatt chargers, they're a little bit of a misnomer in some ways, is in that most cars don't use them, can't use them, uh, but it's nice to have the extra power. So let's just have a look. These are the tritium ones. So let's find the power label, which they saw. Oh, there we go. And let's see what we got here. So input 950 volts DC, output 200 to 920 volts, 500 amps. So these, these are the tritiums. Uh, and these are quite capable of charging 800 volt cars. But we're here today to have a look at what's happening with GridServe. Now I've been here many times. This is a very, very busy charger location. There's always cars here, particularly on the GridServe side. There's often queues, really often. And this is a very popular location. One of the advantages, it's not on the motorway. The motorway is just, just there. It's 100 feet away, but this is one where you come off the motorway onto a roundabout and then go into the services, um, a bit like Portishead in Bristol. Um, and what it means is that if you live in Rugby, you can drive here quite happily. You don't have to go on the motorway. If you uh, live anywhere else, yeah, you can drive here without going on the motorway. On the motorway, whether you're going north or south, you can come off at the same roundabout and you can come in here. So um, this is uh, really handy because you can, if you live up road, you can just nip in and charge. Now, <clears throat> because grid server are always busy, because they're expanding and everything else, they've decided here that their best way is to just add chargers. Now, the original ones are 350. They are single, usually single port, single bay. Um, I say single bay, some of them have Chadamo, these older ones, some of them have Chadamo, but you can only ever use one at a time. It's not a dual bay. Uh, you plug in whichever one suits your car. So some of these chargers, like this one, only one plug CCS2. This one, it's one bay, but you can choose either a CCS2 or a Chadamo. So these are single bay chargers. And what they've gone on to now is the 360s. Uh, and these are they're the, the, the flagship models now, top of the range, 360 kilowatts. It's a little bit more than the 350s opposite, but these are genuine dual bay. And dual bay here means each one will have two parking slots. Uh, so this one, for example, you have a slot here and a slot there. That one will have a slot either side. So these, there's uh, 12 of these going in, 12 dual bays, and that gives you some sort of indication as to just how busy this location is. GridServe believe they're going to have 24 here, they're going to have 12 over there, provided they don't take them out, as 36 chargers. Tesla have got 28. Uh, so we're looking here at a massive, massive charging hub. In addition to that, I've just come from a retail park. It's two miles up the road. And there, there's a brand new installation gone in with Tesla and they are V4 chargers over there and they are open to all. So within two miles of where I'm standing right now, there are 28 Teslas, there will be 36 uh, grid serves and there'll be another 12 Teslas at the retail park. That's a massive amount for rugby, uh, which is, it is a small city, large town, I don't know which it is. Uh, but it does mean that there's a massive, massive charging capacity here. Now, obviously, being on the M6, we're quite near the junction of the M1, M42. It is quite a big hub in itself on the motorway, and therefore um, there's a lot of passing traffic. But it's really interesting what they're getting up to. And this is public information, so I'm not giving any secrets away. Uh, the uh, contractor here, electrical contractor here, is Actemium. Uh, and they are a national company and they are the electrical contractors. So they're doing all the work. And the work is going on over there behind the existing chargers. And those, uh, they're waiting at the moment for some concrete to be poured. And when that's poured, they'll be bringing in a new transformer, which is going to power this lot here. So what we've got here are the new um, grid serve flagship models. These are the 360 kilowatt, and these are dual bay chargers, 
and they are supposed to have intelligent power sharing. So they will allocate power to whichever bay is demanding the most uh, within the range of 360 kilowatts. And for most uh, cars, uh, you're not going to get anywhere near that power. Uh, I've just been over the other side and filmed There's about six cars that are charging at the moment. I've just checked all the states of charge and the charging rate, uh, and none of them have reached 100 kilowatts. Uh, they're in the 50, 60, 70 kilowatt range, uh, and some of the states of charge are down as low as 50 or 60 percent. So when they say 360 kilowatt shared power, uh, that's actually loads of power. There's more than enough for the vast majority of uh, cars that are going to pull here and charge. So there's 12 going in. Now I am informed that these have already been commissioned. They have a small generator and they use that temporarily to power up the chargers. Uh, these are ABB chargers and they are not so happy sitting there not powered up, uh, totally unpowered. And the reason for that is just damp. Um, they're fully vented obviously, but if you get a very moist day like today, uh, moist air goes into them, then if it goes cold overnight you get condensation. Once they're powered up fully, they are able to run fans, so they'll be able to control the environment inside the charger and it's not an issue to them. But if you leave these standing, uh, uncharged, un unconnected, disconnected, um, in the particularly coming up to the winter, uh, they can suffer quite badly. Uh, so these are the new ones, there's 12 going in here. Now, having spoken to GridServe and some of the electrical contractors, it's my understanding that the chargers behind these are pretty much at the end of their life. Uh, there are, I think it's five at the moment, which are out of order. Uh, and the company, uh, Tritium, they, they changed hands so many times, nobody knows who owns them anymore. And consequently, uh, they're, they're pretty much at the end of their working life. So the logical thing for them to do would be to whip those 12 out and replace them with six of these 360 kilowatt dual bay chargers. And I believe that's the plan. So there's a new power station uh, transformer going in over there, which will provide power for everything uh, because the capacity at the old one is not enough to run these new chargers. Uh, so there's going to be a big change here. They will end up with 12 uh, chargers here, which is 24 bays. They'll end up with six chargers over there, which is 12 bays. So grid serve here, and they've long since suffered from queues, they will have 36 chargers here, and these will give whatever power is required. So that's a big upgrade for here. Now, having just come from Gretna Green on Tuesday, uh, this is where the charging scene is actually heading. Uh, we have here a total of uh, 28 Tesla chargers, and we will ultimately have 36 uh, grid serve chargers. So that gives us a total, in my mind, of 64. Uh, met up with the manager there. Uh, I, I, I try wherever I can to introduce myself if I'm going to be filming to the managers and they're usually amazingly helpful, uh, full of information. So I introduced myself and um, found out that there's a big expansion going on there, but some of it, quite a bit of it, is driven by Moto services, not by grid serve. Um, that Moto Services are trying to promote themselves as a uh, location for people to go and charge. And the location there in Rugby is brilliant, it's just off the motorway. So when I heard from one of my regular viewers, David, thank you very much for the updates. Um, I love these updates. People let me know what's going on so because I can't keep on top of everything all the time. Uh, so one of the regular viewers, David, uh, he was down here and he spotted there was some work going on with GridServe. Now, once they're in and working, and the concrete should be going in this week, the DNO apparently is booked for next week, and what that means is that at that point they will have 24 of the new charging bays, and so the old tritium chargers can be removed. So you're going to end up with 36 uh, GridServe uh, uh, 360 kilowatt chargers, uh, capable and uh, Tesla's got uh, 28. Anyway, uh, so yeah, 36 and 28 is 64. 
So 64 charges there. It's not the biggest in the country. Um, there's bigger ones than that. Uh, however, this is a massive, massive installation. A lot of it driven by moto. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching. I'm Dave.